Jamrin developers, this is Jamrin guys. So nine tutorial in this tutorial, we'll create a Twitter animation splash screen. So let's start our new project by going to file, new, and then project. Here you will see a lot of options. Now we are going to write code for cross-platform. So we are going to make a multi-platform app. So let it give a name as Twitter animation as we are creating splash screen. And then select a shared library project as I am using Xamarin Live Player. We need to first of all go to our project. Here you will be specifically talking about root project or other project that are basically targeting specific operating system like Android as well as iOS. So I will be minimizing them. Here inside my app.jaml.cs part, I'll be creating a splash page and giving a navigation for our main page as main page is equals to new navigation page as new splash page. As splash page will be my starting page. So now let's create a new class by going to add new class. Select class and give it a name as splash page.cs and click on add. Inside code behind of splashpage.cs part, image is a class derived within a Jamrin forms which is a view that holds an image. Here I have created an object as image icon. I will place that object inside my absolute layout. Now, I will to call navigation page.set has navigation bar as false. In the constructor of any login screen, then it would keep the navigation bar as hidden. Here, I will be using absolute layout and I am creating an image that will scale in as well as scale out, giving a source as twitter.png and width as well as height as 100. I will drag and drop over here. As we have already discussed about absolute layout, it sets the child element at absolute position. Here is the use of layout flag as it sets the layout flag of a view that will be used for intercepts such as if I create a button that will be stretched out, we use set layout flags. Here I have used set layout bound as flags used to modify how layout bounds are interpreted in absolute layout. Here I will be giving a blue twitter background as hex of 429DE3 as I will be placing this background color inside my absolute layout. I'll drag and drop over here. This will be my method that I'll be using to scale my icon image and pass message to my main page that if I use this splash screen, it could go to our new navigated page as page one. For creating that page one, right click on it and click on add, click on new items, examine it forms using that content page, give it a name as page one and navigate. Now our page gets navigated to page one after our splash screen gets over. I have placed that image inside my drawable folder of Android project as well as resources folder of iOS project. Now that's all. That was our short description for our project. Now let's run our project whether it gets built or not. Building is getting started as I am using visor for reflecting my physical device. It's being deployed. Let's see whether our correct output comes or not. Okay, build is getting started. Okay, successful. Okay, we get our first splash screen. It is fading in, fading out. That's all for our Android project. Now head towards our iOS project. Now I'll open my Xamarin Live Player. I'll try to peer it. Okay, it got peered. Now let's see whether it gets compiled or not. It's it connected. Okay, we got our output. It gets fed in and fed out. That's all. And there are many projects that are going to come ahead. Thanks for watching, guys.